Hi Hull class. Today we have another reading task. We're going to do some reading together and we're going to read some non-fiction. That means it's not a story, it's some information. It's information about people who help us. And you can see some sentences in red. This is the text that we're going to read together. OK, are we ready? Let's just change my pen to that little laser pointer. Now you can see where I'm reading. OK, people who help us. Mr. Top is a farmer. He drives a tractor. He feeds the hens the sheep and the cows. He milks the cows early every morning. OK, here's the question. What does Mr Top drive? A trike? A train? A tractor? Or a trailer? Hmm. Let's go back to the to the paragraph, to the sentences and read them again. And we're going to find out what does Mr. Top drive? Mr. Top is a farmer. He drives a tractor. Well done. If you said tractor, you were correct. OK, a different question. It's the same information. Here's the new question. When does the farmer milk the cows? Hmm, I think it was in the answers in this sentence here. He milks the cows early every morning. So let's have a look. Early every evening. No. Early every morning. I think it's going to be this one. After lunch? No. At tea time? No. I think we're right if we say early every morning and we tick here. Do you? Well done. The next question. So it's the same information about Mr. Top. And the question is what three things does Mr. Top feed? What three things does Mr. Top feed? Pause the video now and tell your grown-up what your answer would be. Okay, well I'm looking here. He feeds, and I'm looking for three things, the hens, the sheep, and the cows. So my answer would be that. The hens, the sheep and the cows. And the next question is this. What is Mr Top's job? What does he do? And it tells you the answer, doesn't it? In the very first sentence here. Mr Top is a farmer. That is his job. He's a farmer. This is some different information now. It isn't about Mr. Top anymore. It's about Mr. Special Friend Ch. A Special Friend Ng. Ch. A Ng. Mr. Chang. Listen carefully. Mr. Chang is a teacher. He works in a school. He helps children to learn. After school, he does sports clubs. Miss Ship is a firefighter. She drives a fire engine. She 
helps to put out fires. And this time we haven't got a question, we've got some missing words and we have to fill in on that dotted line the missing word. Are you ready? Mr Chang is a mm. Miss Ship is a mm. Ooh, so what job did Mr Chang do? I think that answer is in the first sentence, isn't it? Mr Chang is a teacher. Well done. And what about Miss Ship? Let's find her name in the in the writing. Here it is. Miss Ship is a firefighter. Well done. Okay. A different name, maybe a different job. Mr Peters is a nurse. He works in a hospital. He helps people who are ill. He works with lots of other nurses and doctors. Where does Mr Peters work? Hmm, pause the video if you need to and find the answer. I think I've got a clue here because it starts, this sentence starts with, he works, he works in a hospital. In a hospital. Next, the next question is this, what kind of people does Mr Peters help? Hmm. How about here? He helps people who are ill. People who are ill. Okay. Mr. Jones is a truck driver. His big trucks are full of food. He takes the food to the shops. We buy the food from the shops. Now we have to say yes or no. So we're going to read three more sentences and it's either yes or no. He takes the food to school. What do you think? Yes or no? No. Well done. It says here, he takes the food to the shops. So that was no. Let's read the next one. The trucks are full of food. What do you think? Yes or no? Have a look. Maybe here, read this sentence. Yes, his big trucks are full of food. And the last sentence, Mr. Jones is a train driver. Yes or no? No, Mr. Jones is a truck driver. Well done, everybody. That's our reading task finished for today. See you soon. Bye.